just sitting out here spinning with the yellow dog with yellow dog farm this is elvis he's watching out for me i'm spinning from a mohair roving that eventually or originally came from our goats we raise angora goats Well, this is Yellow Dog Farm. This is our view. The shrubbery's a little uh, crazy at the moment, but you can see the barn right close to the house. And there are some of my goats who are just hanging out, wishing I'd come down and give them some hay. This is the time of year when you start thinking, what have I done all winter long? And then you realize oh, a few things. So in the bowl here is a lot of our hand-painted yarns. So this is when I'm taking the finished mill spun yarn and I'm actually applying the colors um, with a paintbrush. So it's painted. This one is a boucle that we have made for us, which is uh, shows the bright white of the natural yarn. I do a lot of knitting. Jim does a lot of wood turning, so he helps me with buttons and things like that. He makes lots of fiber tools. And I'm also weaving. The yarns in the front here are uh, tied yarns, so I'm using my yarn and other yarns I've collected. More knitting and weaving. Seems I have a yellow thing going on right now. You can see the hand spun art yarn that I make showing up in the white there but also showing up in the weaving coming through. So I guess it was a pretty good winter. Hey there. If you haven't seen the movie Temple Grandin, you need to. She talks a lot about the fact that animals, she's talking about a slaughterhouse, not in a goat yard, don't walk in straight lines. So this is what I do every morning is try to get to way over there where Elvis is, where the bulls are, with a group of goats who don't walk in straight lines. So they crisscross in front of me to the point that I'm almost falling down. And when we finally get to a bull, whoop, there they go. They think we're getting to a bull. Then they crowd the bull so much that I can't get them great. Oh, here we go. We're gonna do another round. Got it. 